we were able to initiate um, two major studies, one of which looked at individuals through time as they recovered. Some of them scanned eight, ten times as they recovered. And the others across a number of subjects of different degrees of recovery. And here came the second major breakthrough. And that second major breakthrough was that though in the initial phases of recovery the whole motor system responds, in those who recover well, and this was completely counterintuitive, all the excess activation comes back down to provide a small amount of activation, very similar to that which you get when you perform such a simple movement normally. Those who failed to recover well continued with this high level of activation. And our interpretation of that was that in those who can, with time, with more learning, with practice, whatever the other mechanisms one can think of, the system was able to narrow down back into a parsimonious set of nerve cells within the whole motor system, this little subset that dealt with this particular movement. In those who couldn't, there was no coming back. So we now had uh, an insight into the whole issue of how the brain remodels itself, because this was a major remodeling exercise,